Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Friday and I have all my stuff here I want to show you. It is very, very, very random, but I think there will be something in here that you can pick up for yourself this weekend. And I'm going to start with these. I went to get my toenails done one day this week. I think it was Tuesday. And right beside the place that I get my nails done, there is a Sally Beauty. So I ran in there and picked up my some of my favorite colors that I use because Brooke and I seem to use like a lot of times the same colors and I wanted these just to stay up here. Plus this one was running out. And this is OPI Funny Bunny. It's what I've got on now. It is a great solution when you want the white nails but you can't get them perfect. You know, when people get gel nails or they get them done professionally, it's easier to get the edges right and get them no streaks and all that stuff. Funny Bunny gives you that look but it's not completely opaque and I love it. Then good old Cajun Shrimp. I have fallen back in love with Cajun Shrimp. I put this on my toes this time and I love it on my fingernails too. I used to kind of just save it for the summertime, but to me it looks so pretty even in the winter. So loving that. And then I picked up a, one of my favorites, which is Rose Among Thorns China Glaze. This is considered a neon, but it's not like an obnoxious neon. It's just a little bit and it does dry matte, which is kind of cool because it dries fast. And I just put the Sesh Vite over top of it to keep it from being matte and to make it shine. So those are just three of my go-tos. You know, I would have a nail polish video, I believe, that I will, you know, list down below. But OPI, Lincoln Park After Dark, Strawberry Margarita, you know, there's lots more. But these are the ones that I thought of that day. Then this is something from John. He just wanted me to tell you guys, those of you that have purchased the Pellet Ice Maker, I've had mine for about a year now and I love it. It's one of my favorite things ever, ever, ever. I use it every day and he took it apart, I think last week and cleaned it all out because it was getting where it was making a weird noise, like a squeaking type noise. And he ended up buying this filter to go with it to kind of, we use bottled water in it. We use the one out of our like water bottle that we have delivered, but it still needs to be cleaned out and it still can get clogged up and he told me to tell you guys this filter is what you need to get so i told him i would tell you that he brought this up here and everything okay, now i'm going to show you two pair of shoes that i purchased from zara i think if they weren't on sale they weren't crazy expensive these are white they're they're white i mean they're not like crazy bright white but they're white and they have this very interesting heel and you guys know I love a cool heel. I think that these look so good with like a really normal, you know, skinny trouser, like the ones from Banana Republic, and then a really, you know, just a tank top or something like that. And then you can throw a cool jacket on and put a big gold chunky necklace or something. They're just really cool looking. Then I grabbed these. These reminded me of there is a magazine cover from years and years ago, and I know I've shown it to you before, but it's Sarah Jessica Parker on the cover of a magazine, and she has on, I don't know if they're Louboutins or Jimmy Choo or what they are, but they were little heels that, are, that look like this, and I just always loved that. And she had like a little um, sequin, like bolero type jacket, and then jeans on, and it's just, it's one of those pictures, I think we all, everybody that loves fashion has those certain pictures that just, there's just something about them that you love, and so when I saw these, I grabbed them, I thought they would look really good with, like, either distressed jeans, but if you don't like holes in your jeans, maybe a light color pair of jeans and a white t-shirt, and then put these on, it's just like the perfect little you know, they're so sparkly, so over the top that they look good with jeans and a t-shirt. They're pretty comfortable. If I end up really liking them, probably what I would do is get a little one of those pads to put right there. But again, the funky heel that's so popular now. And I just love just how they look. Okay, and I want to thank you guys for all the wonderful response I got from my watch video. It was so much fun reading all your stories about your Rolex that you got, you know, 30 years ago and how it still looks great. And then some of you that had them passed down from your 
parents or ones that your husband got for you. I love it. I am just on a watch journey these days. And so I'm always looking at like Nordstrom and the different um, Amazon, just everywhere. I look at their watches now. And I was on Nordstrom and I came across this watch that was on sale and I just think it is the sweetest, prettiest watch. It's Rebecca Minkoff. It's this beautiful, I just love that color. It's like, I hope that you can really see. Here, let me show you the face. Just love this like, it's almost like a salmon pink and I love the rose gold. I love the beautiful dial. It's almost it's almost iridescent. It has like a pearlescent, but not like mother of pearl. It just has like a shimmery white face. And I love how thin it is. I love like the chevron pattern here. And I really love watches that have the leather strap. I mean, I love the metal watches too, but I want to get some that have the leather strap too because they feel good. I was trying one of my mom's on. She has a really different good watch collection. It's just been one of those days, I'll tell you. I slept later than I ever do. I slept until 8 o'clock this morning. And I usually wake up and get up. I usually wake up around 5 and then get up around 5.30. And I woke up and I was like, I felt, you know, I already felt weird. And then I looked around and it was light outside because normally when I get up, it's dark. And I was like, what time is it? It was 8 o'clock, and I went to sleep at 10. So that was some good, good sleep. So I'm a little just frazzled because I'm behind my schedule. Let's see if it has, does it have a, yes, it does. Isn't this gratifying to pull this off? It is so pretty, you guys. Where's my trash can? So let's put it on. It was not expensive. Like I said, it was on sale, and it is I just think it's going to look so good now and in the summertime. I love rose gold. I love rose gold watches. I would really love, here I'm going to put it just in front of this one. This one is still, even though they took the links out, it's still just a little loose. But in the summertime, when you get hot, you know how your arms and stuff swell a little bit? And then you get kind of, I don't know, I don't want anything like sticking to me. So... I told him I would just wait and see how I felt when it gets warmer. You can always have more taken out, but when they're cutting them off, you get a little nervous. I may wear it a little bit looser than this. My mom is going to love this watch too. So anyway, there it is, and I think it is so pretty. The color, the rose gold with the white and the beautiful face. It's kind of oversized. Jenny Bird sent me her one of her latest collections, and it's really cool. I think, you guys, typically I would just start wearing stuff and show you as I wear it. But this is a little different, and I felt like for you to get it and to get the whole concept, I probably needed to show it to you, but it's for Valentine's Day, and it's her take on a heart. So like these are the earrings, but look, when you turn them to the side, they are one of those like, you know, those crazy hearts, like not a perfect heart like that, but one of those that's just like that. And I wore these the other day. Let me try these on for you. And they really show. So if you're someone like me that wears their hair down a lot and is looking for earrings that show, I just noticed that day when I was, you know, taking pictures and all the stuff that I do and in the car, I just noticed that these really show. And even like if you were to wear your hair up, I just think they're so pretty and they're not heavy at all. I mean, they don't, I value my, I feel like I've done good to take care of my earlobes for this long and I'm not gonna wear anything now that's gonna pull my ears down. So I would not wear them if they were too heavy. Or I would tell you, like some earrings I have, like the Laura Lombardi and a couple of those hoops, they're heavy. So I only wear those just for a couple of hours. You know what I mean? And I am one of those people. John and I have been watching The Crown, or is it The Crown? Yeah, with uh, Queen Elizabeth, and I love it. I love that show. And let me tell you, it's not like it's exciting, but I love stuff like that. I love the just different accent. It makes me so sleepy. When we watch that show, it just, 
calms me down. Like whatever has been going on that day, it calms me down and we can watch one episode, maybe one and a half, and I am so ready to go to sleep. I love it. But I told John every time they show her coming in and like the lady's taking everything off of her, I'm like, whoa, that would be the best because that's what I do when I get home. I take everything off and sometimes I put on my pajamas, the two-piece pajamas I got from Nordstrom. And a lot of times I'll put on that Skims robe, the like velour one, because it's not too bunchy. It's real comfortable, but it's real cozy. I take off my stuff as soon as I get home. Okay, so here is that one. And I just think it's really cool. And I think it's a cool concept, you know, to do the heart in that way. And then I got the two hoop, pairs of hoops that go with this too. Okay, and it's a little harder to see the whole heart concept in these, but it plays off of that same heart. And I can't remember, I think, I haven't worn these yet, but I think that it would go, would it go like this or like this? I'm thinking it goes like this. With your jewelry, and I know someone is going to disagree with me, but I have always heard that with your jewelry, like your rings, your earrings, everything, and it makes sense because you, you wouldn't put your, you know, like if you had a name necklace on, you wouldn't want to put it, it's not where you can read it. You want to put everything where a person looking at it, you know, can read it or see it or it's, you know, right side up or whatever. So is this... I'm not sure about this, you guys. This one stumps me, but if you look them up, it will show it the right way on her website, but you will get the concept. Yeah, I think I like it here. So I think when you look to the side, it's gonna show or be in that more of that heart shape, but really cool. I really like these a lot, and these are not heavy either. This is the smaller size, so it's not like a, I would say it's, I don't know, it's a pretty small hoop. But let's put this one on this side so you can see. I don't know which ones I'm going to wear today. I am having lunch with my mom, my aunt, you know, her sister. And my aunt is the one that introduced John and I. And my other aunt that is in town from Texas. So it's going to be a fun lunch. I'm looking forward to seeing them. So, yeah, I don't know which ones I like better. Gosh, they're, they're both really pretty. And there's a big difference in the look. And then this is the cuff that goes with it. I have not yet put a bracelet with my watch. I know I've never been, oh, and I see it would probably go like up like that and then you squeeze it together. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, definitely wearing this, definitely. Then this, I'm going to wear this today. This is a Jenny Bird necklace that I really like. And then this one is two-toned. So it has like the silver necklace part. And then it has the, see how the it's the heart shape, but it's like upside down. Really cool. And I am, it's got the little JB. Oh, and this has the coolest, I have never seen a necklace adjuster like this but it's one of the best ones i've ever seen this one has this little ball on it and the ball slides and then it has the you know hoop on it so you could make it more of a choker style so let's see i'm gonna put it on this so i love that i love that mixture right there because in that will help me mix some other things. These earrings, I cannot figure out. They are also two-tone. Let me look them up real quick because I tried to wear them the other day and I, I just couldn't figure it out. I was like, maybe they just don't fit my ears. But let me look them up real quick. And I had the best email this morning. They have fixed my phone and it's on its way back. I think I actually get it today, I think. That's what it said. So I need to watch out for the FedEx man. But I've been using this one because, you know, I cracked the screen on my brand new one. I've been using this one, which is the X. And the, let me just tell you, there is a big difference in the camera. So this necklace is called the Constance Chain. 
And it looks like she has some um, ear cuffs and uh, Tony ring sets that are two-toned. So here I am, it's the Jenny Bird All Love. And I was right, you do wear, like you wear it however you want to, but that's how she shows it is with the inside like that. I love the All Love, these, the earrings like this. And then you can get this pendant. You can get it in all silver, all gold, or two-tone. Okay, yeah, here they are. Okay, so, yeah, I was right. These earrings, so, like, the top part kind of goes in your ear. These Vantage earrings. So, you can get these in the all gold or the two-tone. So, let's try this. Okay, so you put this like in your ear right here and then in this hole this is cool I have fat earlobes okay so I'm gonna have to put it in my piercing first okay this is like this is so radical for me I don't think I've ever worn like even an ear cuff so here we go and then you take this part and put it in your ear I'm wild and crazy today. And then it goes like that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Okay, I tried it the other day and I just didn't have, I did not have confidence that that's how they went. But that is how they go. And I'm not sure that this collection is available yet because when I just looked on her website, I didn't see it. This is like the email that she sent me but if it's not, it will be soon. I'll put the date down below. Oh my gosh, those are so cool, you guys. Look at that. So, I'm gonna leave these on today because they go with this. And this is just a ring that my parents gave me. It was handmade gold. And so I feel like they all go together. And so that's it from that collection. And let me see, was there anything else? I think that's it. So I got this blazer. I'm going to stand up and show it to you. I went in H&M just to get these. And another thing I wanted to tell you is how much I have loved the black disposable mask that I got from Amazon. I feel like they have, and this is so silly, but they have helped me want to go in places again because I feel like they look decent. I just... I didn't like the blue ones and I didn't like the material ones because the material ones would get so much makeup and stuff on them and I felt like they were hard to breathe out of. These just, I just wear like one a day. So I'll wear it, wear it wherever I'm going and then when I get home I bring it in and I throw it away. And I've already ordered my second box of them because I've been giving some away too but everybody loves them. Even John wears one to the gym and he has on a, like a black hat with his black mask. It looks good. Also. One thing I want to do each week is kind of feature either a YouTube channel or an Instagram that has inspired me through the week or that I think you'll enjoy or, you know, a lot of times I'll find women, you know, right around our age or, you know, that are very, very inspiring and different. I think, you know, there's a lot of bloggers out there, but Sometimes you find someone with like true style and it might not even be like the lady I'm going to put today. I don't even, she speaks, I think, French. I don't understand a word she says. She wears these great big kind of darker glasses, kind of like um, the app, is it the Apple lady or whatever? But even like her, I just love people with their own style and she's just very inspiring and there are some things that I like that she wears that are inspiring. So I want to put her name down below. I don't even know it. I just discovered her through just clicking and clicking and clicking. Matter of fact, I think Tammy might have sent her to me because I always tell Tammy, if you see somebody I might like, send them to me. Okay, so I've got on my AG pinch waist uh, jeans. They're the ones I got from Oliver and they're a little big but with a belt, I think that they look fine. Um, I just put them on, so they're not that big yet. They will be by the end of the day, but I think they look fine for now. And then this blazer is a men's blazer from H&M. I went specifically up there to get it because I just love 
the oversized blazers and I loved this color. I've got some tan ones, but they're kind of like linen-y looking. They're more summery. And then um, I definitely with this outfit, I wanted to wear some kind of dainty or shoes with heels. So I have on these from Nordstrom. I believe they're Kurt Geiger. And then this is an older belt, the below the belt belt that I've had for years. And then I have on a different little um, bodysuit. This one is from Aritzia. It's that Babaton brand, and it's really nice. It's double layered the whole way. Like the Zara ones are double layered to here. This one is a double layer the whole way, so it's just really nice. And that is it. Okay, and here's our girl. Can you say hello? Can you say hello, Chanel? Come this way. Turn around. Come this way. Yes. Chanel is so affectionate, but she's not a cuddler. Like, if I pick her up right now, it'll really cook her out. So, come on. Yes. Yes. So, I love everybody, but I do not want you to pick me up. No. And I've already told you about my... I feel like my hair's caught, but it's not. It's just that my earring is doing that. Oh, and another thing. I have on all... Not all new makeup, but a lot of new makeup today. And I'm going to do this look for you tomorrow and try to post it tomorrow night. But it is some of the latest things out at the drugstore. I found some good stuff and some eh -eh stuff that I'll tell you about. But luckily, I've been trying a lot of them, including the lip that I had on in my last videos. This is another one. But um, so I will be here tomorrow to show you those things. And I'm just going to do a casual get ready with me. And anything else? My hair I did with the, it's not the Dyson. I used the Dyson to blow dry it, but it is the dry bar, the wand that I love so much. I love it. Have a good weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.